Claude Monet was known as the first Impressionist painter. It began in 1872 with his painting of the sunrise. The Impressionist paints light and nature as how they perceive it. At age 43, he moved to Giverny, where he purchased a house and property, and began a vast landscaping project that included lily pads. These became the subjects of his best known works. In 1899, at age 59, he started painting the water lilies with a Japanese bridge as a central feature. The water lilies seemed to just float in space, as if suspended upon the pond. There is a full color palette, reds, blues, greens, yellows, and various shading. These paintings trace what he saw as he developed cataracts. In his late 60s, his paintings of the water lilies and the Japanese bridge become less distinct and more two-dimensional. As the cataract thickens, the blue tones are being blocked. Everything now appears more yellow and red. Over the next 20 years, the Japanese bridge of his youth now changes. Monet's view narrows as he tries to paint what he sees. No longer a large landscape, only a narrow view of a distorted bridge. The cataract blurs the vision and changes the colors, leaving the patient to perceive the world as more yellow and red, and much less distinct. By 1923, his vision had deteriorated such that he had two cataract surgeries. At that time, they were not able to restore his vision, as there were no implantable lenses, and the operation was just being developed. Even his self-portraits, 31 years apart, acknowledges his lack of eyesight. He may not have known that he was developing cataracts, but he definitely did know that he was having trouble with his vision. Let us help you restore your vision so you can appreciate the colors of nature and the distinctions that are there, and you too can see the water lilies floating in here.